It's a clear spring morning on Lake Ponderé, and an Idaho fishing game gill netting crew is off to a good start. We are getting ready to pull gill nets that were set early this morning um, with the intention of catching and removing walleye. For three weeks, the crew targets walleye. Other times of the year, they target lake trout. Gill netting, along with angler incentive programs, is being used to control these fish populations. These two apex predators are incompatible with the lake's fishery. They put additional pressure on kokanee and compete with other fish species, which in turn threatens the long-term health of the lake-wide fishery. And we're concerned that if left unchecked, walleye and lake trout could cause a decline in the kokanee population. And as a result of that, we're trying to be aggressive and keep that population from reaching a high density. Fish managers use gill nets for a range of activities from sampling and monitoring fish populations to catching and removing fish. But some anglers are concerned the nets catch too many non-target fish in the process. There's a common perception that any fish that encounters a gill net dies, and frankly, that's a misconception. We can use gill nets in a way that minimize the likelihood of catching non-target species and maximize the survival rate of fish that encounter the nets. To avoid catching other fish species, managers have refined when, where, and how to set their nets in the lake. For example, we do a lot of telemetry work to identify where lake trout or walleye are most easily targeted and when they have the least overlap with other species. We can set nets for short durations, so commonly we'll set nets in the morning and just let them fish for several hours and then check those nets, as opposed to having them fish all day or overnight. So fish are in the nets for a shorter period of time and have higher survival. We also use different mesh sizes that most commonly will target, in this case, often walleye or lake trout most effectively while minimizing the bycatch of other species. Even with preventative measures in place, other species still get caught. Crews are prepared when this happens. When we're bringing gill nets onto the boat, we do our best to focus on the species that we're trying to release alive. These fish are untangled and processed first. They are weighed and measured. Some have genetic samples taken. Many get tags as part of a recapture or angler incentive program. Then they go into the recovery tank. We have recovery tanks on board the boat. Oftentimes we'll even put ice in those tanks to make sure the water's nice and cold or even have dissolved oxygen added to the water to, to supplement oxygen levels and help these fish uh, just have a little bit of time to recover before we release them back into the lake. These are the fish Lake Ponderé is famous for. This is the fishery we're trying to protect along with native fish. There she goes. Data collected from the TAG programs verify that the steps taken to protect non-targeted fish are working. The fish that we tag for the angler incentive program are typically caught in gill nets. We then tag those fish and they're later caught by anglers. So those things point toward the fact that um, when we release fish off the boat, they commonly do very well. Here's another one of those double tagged fish. Take a few breaths and off they go. One of the things that's been interesting over the years is when we have folks out on the boat who maybe aren't familiar with our operations and they see it for the first time, they're generally amazed at how good a shape most of the fish are that come in the boat and how much effort we put into keeping the non-target fish alive and, and making sure they're released in good shape. Those fish that are caught and removed do not go to waste. We do our very best to get as many of those fish to local food banks as possible so that those fish aren't wasted and they can be used by folks in the community. Recently, the program donated more than 15,000 pounds of fish to local food banks. The Lake Ponderé fishery has recovered over the past decade largely because of the predator suppression program. It would not have been possible to recover the fishery without the use of gill nets as a management tool and their use will be important for sustaining the fishery into the future.